congregation stood in solidarity with the peasants in El Salvador and Nicaragua while our government, through Ali North and the Iran Contra scandal, was supporting the Contras who were killing the peasants and the Miskito Indians in those two countries. All right, there he is, Reverend Jeremiah Wright, taking a shot at our own friend, Colonel Oliver North, during yesterday's National Press Club address. Here to respond is the author, brand new book. By the way, this is, a, and I've loved all your books, I think one of the best. Okay. American Heroes in the Fight Against Radical Islam, the host of War Stories, right here on the Fox News Channel. Colonel Oliver North, good to see you, my friend. It's great now, to be with you. It's, minute, it's I, wonderful. You and I are both <laughs> attacked by Jeremiah Wright. He attacked me at a eulogy <laughs> at a funeral for crying out loud. So, listen. This guy has gone after everything that is good and decent in America. It's a privilege to have yeah. him include us in it. And by the way, Colmes, he hasn't mentioned you yet. And I'm, you know, you're very proud of yourself, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> you're known not only by your friends, but by your enemies. That's and true. If this guy doesn't like me, good. Because You know like what? I'm tired of the demonization well, of right. I'll get into that in just a moment. I want you to respond to this here, yeah. because he's basically accusing you of murder and yeah. atrocities, yeah. and uh, there's a serious side to this. And, and what this man has become is a recruiting campaign for al-Qaeda and mm -hmm. all of the enemies of America. This, is, this, is, this person, by virtue of his own ego, and I mm -hmm. think that's what's really driving I agree with you. his ego, look at me, look at me, he's undone, I think, at this point, mm -hmm. the man who thought he was going to help make president, probably because Barack didn't say enough nice things about him at various points, wanted him off his advisory co committee. This is a man who honestly does not get it. I mean, the reality of it is, for wait, example, you mentioned the Mexican Wait a minute, wait, let me, let me interrupt you. allied with us in the But Caucus. does he not get it, or is he so angry that Barack Obama threw him down the stairs and pushed him outside in the Philadelphia speech? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, he's really pushed him aside today, <laughs> as we know. Well, he got back but out. finally, yeah. finally. And I think, quite frankly, for Barack, it's a day late and a dollar short, because what he should have been doing is saying, All right. I, I never believed I, this, and I should have said something about it Let me get this in. There has been a new narrative that has emerged on Barack Obama. It's not only Reverend Wright, it's the credibility right. of whether he knew. Yeah. William Ayers, now you deal, you've dealt a lot with terrorism. Guy who blew up the Pentagon, right. blew up oh. the Capitol, blew well, up New York City police yeah. headquarters. He's still friendly with him. Even after he was unrepentant, he goes, gives speeches with him, sits on a board. Tells you exactly where Barack Obama is coming from. This, this is not a matter of, I didn't hear it on a Sunday sermon. This is a matter of a guy who is of the far left of America, who is, by the way, had a very privileged upbringing. Yeah. All this business about the fact There's that this guy's finest Obama. schools. Nothing. Well, this has nothing everything to do, nothing to do with Obama. Obama. Wait no, a so this is an effort Barack? to just blast Obama, blast right, denounce these people. Well, they have done nothing wait, wrong. Sean Hannity and Alan North didn't say these things. Wait, wait a minute. This is the Reverend Wright and his and his wait. protege. You're upset about Wright. Now, was there a rant, an Iran Contra scandal? Was he right about that? No, no. There, there, there was certainly issues. That's not what he and, said. Uh, and by the way, no one ever accused me of murder. No one ever uh, accused me, in fact, of even violating the so-called Bolton Amendment. But I don't think that's what Wright, that Wright wasn't saying that. No, Wright was not accusing you of murder. Of he was talking was. about he was saying the, that the North, arms of the Contra. You play the thing again? About. The, the reality Play of life is that America supported democratic movements all over the world, and we right. did so in Nicaragua, and thank God they won. All right. Uh, here's a guy who has said <coughs> a number of things. Look, in terms of sitting on boards and William Ayers, mm. Bush sits on the board of the, or Bush 41 of the Carlisle Group with a member of the Bin Laden family. So do we go after him for that? Uh, we have on the Woods Foundation. Are you saying George W. Bush is on no, the board no, no, of the No, 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 Bush 41. Yeah, uh, but the, on, the, the point is, oh. so, I mean, do we play that game of guilt by association? Do we talk about the fact that Patrick Sheen, executive director of public affairs for UBS, a major Wall Street firm, liberal is also in the Woods points. Foundation? No, these, these, what these are is liberal talking points trying to divert attention from the fact that you have a presidential candidate, Barack yeah. Obama, who has been closely associated with a man who apparently from all he says, despises all this First of all, right they're not closely America. associated. They live in the same neighborhood. The kids go to the same school. And again, I want the same standards applied to the people <laughs> no, I just mentioned. And, wow. and so by the way, saw each other every so everybody, So everybody who lives in that neighborhood, and, I guess, shouldn't run for president no. because they live in the same actually, neighborhood. Actually, the Reverend Wright, as we all know, has bought himself about a $10 million mansion in Good an for all him. white neighborhood. Aren't you a capitalist? I'm a, I certainly am. <laughs> but I don't do it on public charity, and that's what a church is. And the reality of it is, Alan, this man, Wright, mm -hmm. and his protege, Obama despise all that is right, good, and just in America, and I'm proud First of all, there's that no, they Do you have any me. evidence that Obama shares the views of Reverend Wright? Yeah, apparently, for 20 two books, years, hundreds of pieces of legislation. Apparently, where have any of those controversial apparently. comments 
reflected well, in Obama's well, policy. Well, I'll tell you what, I've written 11 books, and the newest of them right, is right, right here. It's about right. to become a New York Times bestseller. Can you imagine how galled they are at the New York Times that they have to list Ali Norris books as New York Times bestsellers? I'm, I'm glad to see you promoting the New York Times. Get, if you want to get another signed right. copy of it, it is a great go to OliverNorris.com. Right, I'm going to go, because uh, I, I can't get one from you directly. Coming up, TMZ made Reverend Wright celebrity.